So welcome back everyone. Once again, this is Kevin from CSMI in Australia today. Uh, going to share another video with you guys if you have leaks on your cylinder, how to rectify them. So this is my Hydromec excavator and uh, I had fine leaks from the top of the cylinder up in this area over here. Um, and when I looked closely at the piston rod itself, um, there were there was a lot of swirl marks on it previously and hence uh, I had to actually you know, get it to a smoother finish so that uh, I could take all the scarring and the marks out which would then prevent the leaks out. Let me try and show you, uh, see if I can get this into focus to show you the finish. It's a bit hard uh, to show you the swirl marks on this thing because it's, it's pretty reflective and shiny. I'm just going to try one more time. Uh, maybe I can zoom it in and then see if I can focus it. So you can probably see it's a little bit hard to, to show you the swirl marks on it, but it did have a lot of swirls on it and hence it was leaking from there. So let's zoom out again and let's get it in focus. So hence uh, I was having the leak. I've, I've repaired one cylinder now and I thought I'll do a video and share it with you guys in case you're facing the same problem. You don't really need to buy another cylinder. You can fix the piston. So a couple of things. Um, there is uh, an O-ring on the inside up here. It's a bit hard to, to show you because the light's just not there in there, but there's an O-ring on the inside. You could probably see it. Let me see if I can zoom it. You can probably see it in there, blue in color. So there's an O-ring in there. And what the O-ring does is that the, that's the O-ring that actually uh, wraps around this shaft and keeps the oil in and hence there's no leak. But if you've got any swirled mark or scars and scratches on this cylinder, obviously it's going to leak and then you're going to have the problem. And the simple trick is that firstly, you want to, before you go and do anything, you want to secure your boom. So that's what I've done is I've used a, a soft cord to actually secure the boom uh, in place up here with this this cord up here, and then what happens? What that does is you can freely work on the cylinder, and it's it's a more comfortable position. You don't even have to take the bottom pins out. I'll just bring this camera into focus, so you don't even need to take the bottom pins out. You can just take the cylinder out. Now, if you're going to do one cylinder like how I've done. And you think, oh, I don't need to put the cord in. I don't need to put this cord in. What's going to happen, guys, is the oil from this cylinder is going to travel and come out from here and create a mess because both the cylinder are equalized in pressure. So very important is to secure the main boom first. Once the boom is secured, take one cylinder at a time, you know, do your repairs, put it back, and then go for the second cylinder. That's the easiest way. Then you're not having mess everywhere. Uh, so yeah, so that's what I've done. One cylinder has been completed. I've secured it back into place and now I'm working on the second cylinder. And the trick, the trick is you hold this part either in the pedestal drill, uh, in the, in the chuck like this, or if you have a hand drill, uh, to put some dabs of autosol, which I'll show you, and then hold a cloth and keep going up and down in a very fast motion. And the reason being, if you want smooth finish, the RPM must be very high and the cuts got to be very quick. If you go very slow, then you're going to see very fine finishes up here. You're not going to see fine swirls up there. Very high speed and a very fast travel. And then that will give you a nice smooth finish on the cylinder uh, itself. Now, uh, this, is, this is a product that I use. So this is uh, Autosol, the metal polish. I've used this to actually get bulk of the scratches or the scars out. You can buy this from any hardware store like Bunnings in Australia or at Super Cheap Auto. And then I'm using uh, the original Deep Purple Metal Polish. Now, this is a very, very fine cutting compound, very fine. It's actually used for polishing chrome and aluminium, and that's what I've used. And I've got some uh, pretty good results with it, and it seems to be working for me. So in a nutshell, that's pretty much it. The cheapest and the fastest way rather than buying a new cylinder if, you're, if, you're, if your piston is leaking. Now, if it's leaking a lot and your finish is pretty good, clearly your O-ring inside is damaged, which means you need to replace the O-ring. So if you replace the O-ring, your job should be done. But if you've got scars, marks or swirls on your piston rod, you really need to finish that off completely and then you won't have a leak. 
So that's pretty much in this video as usual. Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll catch you on the next video. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and I'll try to answer it. Thanks for watching.